I'm here live on the Five Star Flex with the father of Dante Dowdell, Nebraska running back. His father, Dominic Dowdell. My man, Dominic, what's going on? Oh, a lot, you know, just <laughs> traveling with this uh, football, you know, ready to yeah. see the next game. Yeah, yep. absolutely. See my, son, see my son, you know, pursue his dream. Maybe hey, he'll so get more touchdowns. Oh, all right, so let's talk about it. How did you feel seeing him tote the mail last week in Nebraska's first win? Great, great. He did real good. Starting out, you know, he came in as a third play, you know, got him a touchdown, you okay. know, untouched right? pretty much. Yeah. So when you watched him play last Saturday, in comparison to what he did growing up, Little League, high school, how did it feel, and did it feel like a full circle moment for you? Like, dang, it's all paying off now. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. He actually was telling me since he's been there, it's like uh, high school all over again. Oh, wow. You know, he's got a little bit more football knowledge, and he's learning. Okay. He's understanding more. Okay. So he transferred from Oregon. Now, out of high school, a lot of people didn't think you guys would, be, would go that far being from Mississippi. But he goes to Oregon, then he gets back in the portal. When he got in the portal, what was it about Nebraska that made you guys want to select that school as a family? Uh, it's a better fit for him. Okay. Yeah. And over there in Oregon, uh, it just wasn't, you know, the style. The okay. running style he has is a better fit for him at Nebraska, you know. And uh, he was telling me he think he's going to, stay there you okay. know he like it there and they treating him you know better over there okay so when you describe dante's running style as his father how would you describe his running style a little bit of that um derrick henry and uh ap you know okay. that style you know physical physical yeah yeah, yeah he, he's definitely not shying away from no contact now, I know you, and you like you coach him harder than anybody. What was your conversation like when he put the ball on the ground the other day? Um, I didn't really, I didn't really say much about it, but I talked to him about it, and uh, he just said he just want to move on for from it. Yeah. So one thing that I saw was that they went right back to him. And I think that says a lot about his ability and how much the coaching staff trusts him. What did that mean to you as a father to see a team like Nebraska have that type of faith in your son? Um, That's that's a big that's a big deal. And uh, that that fumble mm -hmm. was just a little a little something, you know, right. it was no big deal. And after that, they were just, you know, kept playing ball, you know, just right. made a mistake and fix it. No, absolutely. When did you know Dante was special? Like, at what age when you was like, you know what? I might got myself one. Uh, actually, uh, I started seeing that when he was in Pee Wee. Okay. Pee Wee ball. But when he got to high school and, you know, the coach came to me and told me, he was like, we can use him, you know. Um, we ain't gonna hang him out to dry, but we can use him. Mm. So he was like in a like ninth grade, you know, and they wanted him to play with the varsity. Right. And when he was in the tenth grade, he did what he did. He played a little offense and defense. Okay. And uh, when he got to the eleventh grade, mm. he really started shining. You know. Oh wow. And he ended up, you know, uh, leading his team to a ch state championship two years in a row. Oh wow! And, and and that's that's something you know really never heard of two years in a row, right? While he was on the team. Yeah. So I heard you mention he plays defense a little bit. He used to play defense. What position did he play? He played a little defensive end. Okay, man. Doc, he was playing the end and told the mail like that's probably why he's so physical. Now now it's starting to make sense. He's one of those type of guys. When I talk to people who played with him. They always say it's like tackling a ball of knives. Nobody really wants to hit him head on. 
Right. Where do you think he got that physicality from? Uh, actually, me, I played football myself. Okay. Uh, but at, when when he started out uh, playing football, he was uh he was playing on the line a little bit. After okay. his third game in Pee Wee Ball, he said, "Dad, I want to um run the ball." Yep. Cause I was yep. always, you know, like assistant coach, you know, saying most of his younger years. As a father, what goals do you want to see Dante accomplish? And what do you guys talk about a successful season looks like for him? Uh, I just want him to just stay healthy mm-hmm. and uh, don't do nothing too crazy. Like trying to hurt on everybody, you know, right. and all that, you know, just stay focused and, and stay healthy and do what he do. And he said he's ready. He's ready for that Colorado game. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was uh what was head coach Matt Rule's message to you guys when you decided, like, you know what, it's gonna be Nebraska? The best that was just the best fit, and he really liked it. Right. You know. Yeah. No, nah, I mean that says a lot. Like when you think about it, like you feel it it, it kind of, so I know you you big on family. So I know that Nebraska has to have that family feel. And that's something that surprised me because, you know, being from the South, you don't see a lot of guys go that far north. You know what I mean? Right, You right. haven't been afraid to find the best fit for Dante at any time. What have you instilled in Dante that lets you be comfortable with sending him far off for school? Uh, it just, um, far as actually just knowing, like, the head coach and, and the running back coach, is very important to me, you know, because that's pretty much who's going to take care of him while he's gone, you right. know. And uh, I've kind of started building a little relationship with the running back coach, you okay. know. And uh, hopefully, you know, I'll be the same, you know, with the head coach soon. Okay. You know? All right, Dad. You talking to Dante. Tell him what you want to see from him this weekend against Colorado. Um, I want to see him get at least three touchdowns. Okay. You know? And uh, he he say he wants to uh kind of show up on Travis Hunter and Shiloh. Okay. Okay. You know? He already talking about that, so we All gonna right. see how that's gonna work out. All right, man. Well, look, man. I tell you what, I'm gonna call you. We talk anyway, so I'll call you. And then, uh, shoot, we'll talk about it after the game because Nebraska got a lot of big games this year, and I'm looking forward to see what Dante can do, man. Dominic, man, thanks again, big dog. All right.